Our concept was first, if we see a work of art, we got to love it. Then to imagine what the dialogue would be between the works of art that we love in a context of a home. And from day one, Janine insisted that this is not a museum. This is not a gallery. You know, this is a home. Armed with staggering amounts of research and a defiantly eclectic eye, 65-year-old J. Tomlinson Hill has been outfitting his Upper East Side home with the best of the best that has come to market for decades. The New York City-bred Hill frequented museums as a child. His mother, at 96, is still an active sculptress. He serves on the board of trustees at the Met and has works on loan to some of the country's most prominent museums. His collecting strategy, choreographing works from different periods and mediums, post-war American and European art, and Renaissance bronzes. So we get, for instance, either curators who know gold grounds or, for instance, know Rubens, and they come here and they see how a contemporary work actually fits with an old master painting. Uh, a number of them are actually surprised and uh, one of I think the great pleasures of being able to mix is to actually try it on for size to see. We've been willing to try different artists and see how they fit with our sensibility. Hill's competitive nature seamlessly transitions from Wall Street to his long-range collecting approach. In fact, there is often competition between the artworks in his home. Between the works, but also yeah. between the ages yeah. to see what, you know, what stands up. I mean, it took us a long time to get the lineup of the Jean Bologna models in front of the Rocher 17th century painting. It took us a long time before we figured that out. In New York this month, the Frick Collection is presenting Bronzes from the Hill Collection, a trove of nearly 40 works spanning the 15th to 18th centuries. Bronzes have always been about a highly personal sensibility and they were always meant to be handled, to be seen in a domestic setting. And what we love is, you know, because we got initially going down this path because we thought about Greek and Roman and there were issues of provenance and then also size. Whereas you can have 32 amazing bronzes and you're going to see them you know, at the frick. But they all exist in one apartment in New York in a domestic setting. Hill's deep holdings in bronze do not reflect his broad range of collecting interests. Hill and his wife Janine have embraced the concept of deep collecting. They identify an artist and acquire a minimum of five works, whether it's de Kooning, Twombly, Warhol, or Francis Bacon. We have our eye on a fifth, mm -hmm. and we've made several offers on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, at some point, I think I can buy it at an ever-increasing price. Yes. But yeah. uh, once I've identified the period, once I've identified a work, mm -hmm. uh, you know, then I will aggressively pursue it. But we're very patient because we waited for a Bryce Martin for... Oh, for over 10 years. We kept getting offered different ones mm -hmm. and it just wasn't the one. So we thought, well, either we won't In fact, one. we turned down one from the same series. That's the Red Rock series. And we turned down another painting from that series before we landed on this one. And it was really worth the wait for us. Hill has an extensive network of dealers and auction house specialists on the lookout for pieces that might appeal. 
but the financier meticulously researches each purchase and with the help of his wife is the driving force behind the acquisitions. As Janine knows, how do I spend my weekends when I'm not on the phone in business or with my wife and my children? Uh, I'm reading. What's, what's interesting in the current art phenomenon uh, is that I think there's a lot less looking uh, and more listening that's going on. And I've always believed that your eye doesn't lie. For Art in Auction, I'm Judd Tully. Thank you.